Welcome to another edition of Versus on Zion Mainframe, Mad Zion along with Old Man Tom. We filmed a lot today. We did, over the course of months. Oh, right. us out. Yeah, this is like mid-2015 at this point. So we're going to be battling Dead Rising 2 versus Dead Rising 3. And uh, I think we're going to have a good case for this. Dead Rising, uh, the first one was <laughs> where you went through a mall and like it was very picture heavy. The second one, they dropped that completely, and they went more with uh, creating things like wacky weapons. No, and Dead Rising Two was what started the wacky weapons. That's what I'm saying. Like, Dead Rising Two. Yeah, but then you said Dead Rising Three went more wacky weapons. Oh, did I? I meant Dead Rising Two was the one that started the weapon yeah. combination. They dropped the the pictures and whatnot, and then Three took it to like yeah, the extreme. Yeah, yeah, they like they, they went all out on it. So, Tom, uh, you have the most experience with 3. I did play through it with you, but I didn't yeah, play it. <laughs> our miserable Dead, uh, Dead Rising 3 playthrough, yeah. you could see. It was really bad. That was <laughs> it was really bad. Terrible. Mm -hmm. um, no, I mean, Dead Rising 2, like you said, took place in a mall. They're both on a timer. Um, same concept, you know, zombie outbreak. Uh, there's a bomb coming or whatever it was. Dead Rising 2, was it a bomb too? Because it was a nuke in Dead Rising 3. Was it, it also was, a nuke in 2? I think it was. Or it was just the army rolling no, in? No, I'm pretty sure it was a nuke. In the, yeah, I think it's been a nuke in all of them. Either way, you're on a timer. So it, it, it keeps you moving forward. You know, you adventure out. If you find people, you can rescue them and bring them back. Same type of concept, sort of. Except Dead Rising 2 takes place solely in a mall and like the surrounding... Not even really that surrounding. Like one or two surrounding buildings. Whereas Dead Rising 3 has a whole city. And it's, it's kind of broken into three sections, but it all intertwines towards the end. Personally, Dead Rising 3 has one of my favorite settings of any zombie game that I've played. Like, I'm always dying for that, like, middle of the city, urban, war zone zombie experience. And so many zombie games cop out, like, you're on an island. Yeah. You're in the woods. It's cheaper. It's cheaper yeah, and it's, easier. You don't to make have to do as much work, but it's like, I live in a city. If I'm going to play a game to experience a zombie outbreak, I want it to take place within a city. Where I, I would be. Yeah, I, I just connect more with that type of environment. So Dead Rising 3 had one of my favorite environments, like I said. And it's a lot of bit, it's a very arcadey zombie game. They both were. I mean, it's just hordes of zombies on screen mowing through them with dildo cannons and fucking <laughs> twin bladed katanas. Dildo canyons? Who yes, giant, canyon? giant dildo canyon. Rest, rest, rest his soul. <laughs> yeah, so it's, they're both over the top, arcade, uh, just mindless zombie killing yeah. really is what they both encompass dead rising 3 because of the larger environment introduced combinable vehicles so you could take two vehicles combine them our favorite uh was the motorcycle with the steamroller on the front <laughs> the flamethrowers that seemed to be the go-to vehicle but they have a lot of like random things they have like a little mini bicycle with like blades on it and saw blades for wheels like all kinds of crazy things and yeah they just amped up just the, the craziness they they kind of took the progression of like the saints row games where it went from which i don't like moderately <laughs> serious to just slapstick you know yeah, craziness. i'm not i'm not super keen on that i actually am going to give the win to two because two two <laughs> two two <laughs> which you i'm sure you can wear in dead rising three yes fine one you can probably my, wear two two my issue is i want my serious zombie games i don't like this i don't like this progression into oh look at my wacky giant build oh i can kill things with i want a serious scary um, fucking zombie game i'm with you i'm i'm over it i'm saints row same thing i want like even though those are really fun I want like a serious mafia game of I some mean, sort. I don't have, want. They have GTA and then they have like Sleeping Dogs. I mean, they have those open world serious oh, sleeping games. Sleeping Dogs looks awful, but GTA, yes. Sleeping Dogs is supposed to be a good game. Anyways, I, I bought, I bought like the way. complete pack for like 20 bucks. <laughs> and you haven't touched Thank it. Thank you, Steam. Never gonna touch it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think there's a place in the video game market for just mindless arcades. They're all going that way, though, because the next, uh, the next, Dead, Dead, the next uh, Dead Rising, right? No, yeah. no, no, we're on Dead Rising. Dead Island, you're right. Which I'm one? Which one is one that's Jack Black? Dead Island. Yes. yes. Right? See, it's hard. It's hard. They, they all are. They all together, seem so, the same. Yeah. yeah, they all seem the same. Which is why, like, a game like State of Decay, to pull in an Xbox Live PC yeah. game, that game was more focused on, it looked like GTA, but it was more focused on scavenging, building a base, saving people. It wasn't wacky arcade, mow through hordes with your dildos. Mm -hmm. In these games, <laughs> yeah, just, I'm a joke. They're a joke. Yeah. Yeah, unless it's a boss character, you're I mean, killing zombies. Dead Rising, minutes. you're trying to get the highest kill combo, which gets you more experience points to level your guy up. Yeah. I mean, I got up to like like a thousand kills. There's a weapon in Dead Rising 3 that's three uh, traffic cones together with like a battery and it shoots a sonic wave and it basically clears the entire street. Like you can kill 50 zombies with, with each me. shot. They're losing me with this, this like gimmicky, just over the top schlock. I, I want serious zombie games. I, yeah, I would love for like a Dead Island 1 type yeah. game to come Dead out. Yeah, Dead Island 1 is still my favorite in, in a city setting. 
like yeah. not on the tropical island setting because yeah. the best parts of that game were the city section, in the buildings the second, and the, the cities the, the second, second chapter yeah. and then you got to the open jungle and i'm like yeah. i don't care anymore you're gonna die <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean there there definitely is a huge opening in the market right now i feel for a serious zombie game which hopefully dying light lives up to that they're gonna go a serious route there's not gonna be <laughs> you, you go to save this woman she's like i gotta be you don't you want to kill some people I just didn't really like Dead Rising 3 that much. It was it was fun, and I got my money's worth out of it, but I really feel like I they're think, just going ludicrous on purpose, and it's boring. I, my, I think my biggest problem with everything is that the whole zombie genre, just universal across all forms of media, has really just it's jumped down. the shark. It's watered like, down, it's, yeah. A couple of years ago, you'd find like a good piece of zombie media, and it was unique, like, you know, uh, Left 4 Dead those type of games or when the walking dead comics were just out there wasn't a whole lot of zombie movies it wasn't like this mainstream like yeah. ridiculous flood that it is now walking dead's I, still really good though walking dead is amazing i'm yeah. not knocking walking dead in any way i'm just saying that now i mean we joke that our channel is called zombie mainframe gaming it's because there is so many zombie games and those type of games out lots of co-op opportunities it's just, <laughs> the problem though is that nothing really stands out everyone's just pushing to have a zombie game to have a zombie game it's not unique like that's the fad right now and so i'm kind of looking forward to it dying out so then you can appreciate like a good zombie game or a good it's zombie never movie gonna die out though they make so much like, money on these games that's the problem like yeah. not even games just any type of media like the the whole market is becoming what it's portraying like the market is just a bunch of shambling crap coming at you <laughs> that uh, buy us you'll spend you blame, money on me you can blame steam on that though too because you can jesus christ i own 538 or no 554 games right now i have played i think it said i played like 40 of them yeah. and most of them i didn't even play for more than an hour so it's like i'll see a game up and i'll be like oh it's only 19 cents <laughs> like today the steam sale as a film this again it was months in a, yeah. afterwards and i saw i was like there was all these games for under a dollar and i'm like bot 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 I'm, I, I will never play you never play you nope, i won't even remember I what must, these games but are. i must own you but that's what's happening yeah. is that they're showing all the well, shit out of the market and zombie games included but yeah i mean i remember like years ago i would read a zombie book and i'm like this is amazing yeah, you don't see this you know something apocalyptic the um What's the one that Brad Pitt killed? Oh, uh, World War Z. World War Z. I remember reading that book and like, this book is spectacular. Man, I really wish there was a game that, you know, had yeah. zombies in it. I could play a cool game like that. And now flash forward five, ten years, whatever it is, and it's like zombie games everywhere. Yeah. And they're all I think crap. They're just, I think they're just easy to make too. Yeah, but I feel concept. like the concept itself is getting played out. Like it's, well, I think it's been played out for years. It has. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, it's been a long time coming, but I mean, it's... Yeah, it's it's getting to be a played out thing. We're finding something unique or that's truly a worthwhile game and not just like a cash grab, like Last of Us, which I never played and I've always I wanted to. I Let's Play on it, but I don't have a PlayStation. I don't have a PlayStation, so PlayStation play either. It. Man, it was. I just uh, and I know you were like, what was the point? I watched a guy without commentary. He just played the game yeah. from start to finish, and like I just I couldn't stop watching. Yeah, it was so a, good. A good game like that to it come was out. So good. Right? I wish they would have brought it. I know. I know they're. I think they're working on it to come out to PC yeah. eventually. But like, oh my god, just the the game looked great. The yeah. mechanics of it were great, and like, yeah, that's the kind of zombie game that I want. And of course, it was exclusive to a console. Fuck. Yeah, console and a console I don't have. Yeah, which I I'll used never to, have it. Yeah, I'm. I have no. I mean, I have an Xbox. Xbox One, which I bought an Xbox One largely in part to play Dead Rising 3, which I don't regret at all because I, I have other games for it I play, but that was a big deciding factor just because... It was exclusive for a while. It was. Now it's on PC, which, you know, whatever, but even for PC, though, it's such a graphic hog that most people can't play it. Like, yeah. it, it's very... I bought a new graphics card for it, so I've wow. bought <laughs> products to play Dead Jesus Rising 3. Crazy. I need the graphics card. Anyway, So, but you're obviously picking 3 and I'm picking 2. Clearly, <laughs> <Yeah>. Dead Rising <laughs> 3 is getting my nod because, I don't know, the setting to steer this whole, like, tangent lace, you know, fucking runaway mine car of a video that we've done right now. Hey, yeah, Dead Rising 3 was the perfect setting that got a bit over the top, but gets my nod and is one of my favorite mainstream big budget zombie games that have come out. There hasn't been that many of them, so it's not that hard for it to be one of my favorites, but versus like a Riptide, I would take Dead Rising 3 over Riptide any day. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs>
Yeah, uh, what time did you wake up today? No, actually, okay, so we went to bed really early. Went to bed at, I know they're gonna love hearing this. Went to yeah, bed what, at, time, what time did you go to bed, Matt? Went to bed at uh, like 11. Oh, okay. I woke up at one, so two hours later. Yeah. Then I stayed up until five, and then I went to bed and then woke up again at 10. So you got five hours, hours, woke up at total. 10, so seven hours total. Seven hours total. We're not even 12 hours later and you look like you're ready to take a nap. You live a hard, yeah. you live a hard life. Maybe you should have started a YouTube channel that everybody adores and loves. Yeah, and then started a cash grab <laughs> knockoff gaming channel. Hey, if this, if this video gets long enough, I can put an ad in the middle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've surpassed that point at this time. That, wasn't, that wasn't even very I don't good. think they'll hear it. No. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go, guys. Let us know what kind of sellouts we are, and also which of these two games that you would pick as your winner down below. In tell the us. Comments. Tell us how much you're looking forward to Dying Light down below, because that seems to be what this video. Yeah. So back posted this, and we've been playing. We're like 28, and we're like, oh, this is the best game ever. Or we played, and we're like, fuck this game. It's just a fucking Dead Rising Riptide. Dead Island Riptide. God, they all blend together. <laughs> They're all the same. I can't even keep the series separate. <laughs> Save us, producers. Make a good zombie game. Thank <laughs> you.